the formidable robot. The TV Notes is a video in which a television appears to turn on by itself revealing nothing but a noisy channel in which appears to be no signal. There is also a sound in the background which is presumed to be a song from the 60s played backwards. It isn't known where the sound is coming from since the television shows no image at all, aside from its noise. About halfway into the video, there is something with the shape of a dark hand pasting a note into the television's screen and then quickly disappearing from the picture. The note is there for some seconds and soon after, the camera is quickly zoomed into the note which is not yet revealed while the sound of a crying baby is heard in the background as the song keeps playing backwards. The sound of the baby starts to change as if someone was shaking it roughly and a weird sound is heard repeatedly as some kind of transparent crystal-like object covers the camera lens and quickly disappears. Suddenly the sound stops and the television is turned off revealing the note previously pasted into the screen. The note is a drawing of what appears to be a little girl and an object on the bottom right corner with the word hand written on top of it. It is said that there are two different ways of watching this video. The first way, the normal way, is to watch and listen to the video like any other. As for the other way, it is said that some viewers have watched the video while facing the opposite direction looking at it through a mirror that is facing the screen. This video has led to many young teenagers to investigate further, only to find that the video has no source and the story behind its recording is not to be solved. Whose hand was that? What's the note supposed to mean? Is it warning the viewer about the so-called hand? If so, where is it? Even though these questions are important, they are not the priority. The real question is, why are the viewers no longer alive? Or perhaps, why were they silent about the subject before their deaths? Viewer Gianelli A. Gordon came from a religious family who tried to execute an exorcism on her. The exorcism had no effect on the 17-year-old teenager. She was silent and suffered from insomnia due to the fact that she was having nightmares and simply refused to sleep, eat or even shower. Gianelli A. Gordon was the only viewer who gave others very few words about what she was going through after watching TV Note. Gordon claimed that she started to hallucinate about a hand in the bathroom waiting for her to roll the shower curtain. She refused to eat for she feared that the hand she had saw took her by the legs and pulled her down to the floor. Gordon claimed that one night she woke up after a nightmare and went looking through her house for her family members, finding out that none of them was in their beds. She was alone in the darkness of her house looking for her loved ones who were simply not there. She then woke up again to find out that she had woken up from a nightmare within a nightmare. The young teenager couldn't bear with it anymore and simply decided to not sleep. Gianelli A. Gordon died on August 6, 2010, saying the words, after the video. Behind you. What could she have meant by that? Why did she say those words? Was the hand that tormented her the same hand drawn in the note from the video? Randolph J. Flacken died soon after Gianelli A. Gordon, leaving a note that contained the following. Once the television is turned off and the drawing is revealed, there's no turning back. The torment is unbearable. Flacken then committed suicide by shooting himself in the head. The mystery behind this video's recording is serious and so are the deaths caused by it. After Gianelli A. Gordon died saying her final words, we tried finding out if any of the viewers looked behind them after watching TV Note but there was no success.